tools you're going to need for this job are throttle body cleaner, 5 16 socket, a torque wrench that can do about 8 to 9 foot pounds of torque, flat screwdriver, and some shop rags. To remove the throttle body, we're going to need to unscrew these, disconnect this which allows us to remove this intake tube and make sure you disconnect the electrical there there and then you've got the four bolts and it'll just come off I find it's easier to remove the lower two bolts first and then the top ones that way it's not kind of falling off of there as you're removing them and these all have a safety switch on them to keep them from coming off so you just slide those back and then that allows you to disconnect same thing with this this has this little release on the back right there this is a 2010 and it's going to be very similar on an 05 and up an 04 and older is going to be different because your throttle body on the 04 and older is going to actually have a direct connection to the gas pedal whereas this is computer controlled And you can see some carbon buildup in there before I've even removed this. So obviously I'm saying it needs to be cleaned. And it's probably never been off of the car. Crack these loose. got them saved in their same orientation although I don't know that that really matters this one the gasket stayed stuck to here my 08 this is stuck on this side you can see we're pretty dirty in there obviously they're a lot worse but I'm gonna clean that up that should help things I will also Try to clean that out as much as possible. So you can see there's carbon buildup in there too. I'm just start by spraying it. And then I think a toothbrush is a good choice. Remember these screws right there are very sharp. So don't run your fingers across them. So we're just trying to remove as much of this carbon buildup as possible. Let me see how much is coming off already. What you want to avoid doing is spraying and allowing it to run down into either side of here and if you open your butterfly you can kind of clean the edges see this one the top side has got a lot of carbon buildup on it look at that and that carbon can make it struggle to open initially when you hit the gas. Mine wasn't disgusting but it did have some carbon on it. And I've 
clean most of it off already. Just keep scrubbing away and it will eventually look like a brand new throttle body. Get to clean in here. And just keep cleaning. The other thing you can do is wrap your rag over the grip of the screwdriver and that allows you to get in there deeper without scraping anything. Don't don't push this in <laughs> obviously you want smooth but that helps give you a little better reach. When you've cleaned it to your satisfaction make sure you put your gasket back on and then I find it easiest to hand start the top bolts. And those will hold it somewhat. Just bottom those down so that it holds. You're not going to accidentally over torque it doing this. But it gets it or it's not wiggling around. The torque spec is in inch pounds. It translates roughly between eight and nine foot pounds. So I'm going eight and a half. You heard that click, so just double check. Okay. And it's probably not a bad idea to do this in a cross pattern like you would a car tire. So that's it. It doesn't take a whole lot of torque. You can always double check them all. And you see on my torque wrench, double checking it doesn't tighten it more. Tighten these up tight enough that you won't get any unmetered air past there or past there. This is optional, but I think it's a good idea anytime you've got a potentially wet area to go ahead and put a little tune-up grease on the connector. Since I am fond of washing my engine, you know this is going to get wet at some point. Likewise with this electrical connector. And don't forget to reconnect that. I've never needed to recalibrate throttle body when I've cleaned it like that. I've just put it back on and it's worked fine. Uh, if you want to recalibrate or if you need to because it's not working right this is the process and remove the negative cable and you need to put something to keep it from accidentally touching <laughs> you don't want it to ever touch there and then we're gonna connect here to the positive and leave that for a couple minutes probably. It has been about two minutes. Disconnect from the hot first. The main reason for doing that is just so that you don't accidentally touch while it's connected to the hot, touching the ground somewhere. One of the biggest false dead battery symptoms that people get is their ground gets loose and then they think they have a dead battery or whatever and it turns out it's just the cable being loose so when it real snug first step is going to be just to turn the key to the run position let it do its thing 
and then start her up. And then we just let it run until the engine's warmed up, about 10 to 15 minutes, and then give it an additional five minutes thereafter. And what it's doing is figuring out all the calibrations of the throttle body, cold and, and warm engine. But I've reached normal operating temperature and you let it run for another five minutes and then I'm gonna just drive it quote-unquote normally <laughs> so, I have a little bit of a lead foot so it, my results may be different than your quote normal but that's it hope the video was helpful appreciate a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already subscribed and please tell your friends about my channel thank you very much